Hi everyone, welcome to Dyslexia for the Wise, the art and craft session. We're here with three young people and they're going to try their best to create a um, board game that can help dyslexic children maybe read, um, maybe learn how to write a bit better, to use their memory a bit better, it could be anything really. But it's going to be a board game that dyslexic children can um, can play. And anyone can play, not just dyslexic children. But we are targeting dyslexic children. So they're going to have a limit, limited time to create this board game. As you can see, this is all their stuff that they're going to be using. They've got sellotape, colouring pens. Um, they've got some coloured paper. They've got... Um, some cardboard they've got scissors so these are all the things that they're going to be using okay guys so uh, what have you started we have started to make a board game yeah we okay started making a board game about body parts okay make based on dyslexic people so we've done the, the the orange bit about where the blame that is blocked. Is that bit here? Yeah. Okay, great. And then we've done the pink bit where the blame is creating. Wonderful. So, what's going to happen after this? We're going to draw the rest of the head and the rest of the body. Wonderful. Okay, we'll come back to you guys soon. So what have we got here? A, a, um, a board game with numbers and a, a person. What, what you do for the rules is that you roll it and see which number you land on. Yeah. And, um, and you, the, the, la the number of what you land near to. So say if it was the, um, say if it was the young, you'd have to say, and landed on like you'd have to make a sentence. Um, technically, what you'd have to do if you, when you land on a number, you pick a body part and call it um, on a phone or a body part and call it by its real name. And then after you have to describe about one of the sides of the brain at the top. Okay, but say you've got a child that doesn't understand that. So, for instance, if I got number, what's that? Sixteen. So say I've got one six, which is 16. So where would the body part be for there? That would be like in the in belly, the body. in the stomach. Okay, so around there would be the, the like, stomach. Since it's not really a puff body, it's meant to be a skeleton. So ah. like you would do inside of it, like do the a bit inside of like the organs or the liver or something like that. Okay, great. All right, explain to me about the rules. Um, the rule ones to roll the dice, obviously, and then after you roll the dice, you put your counter on yeah. one of the um, thing, on one of the numbers. Yeah. And then you do, and then you describe about that body part or um, stuff. And after this, we're gonna make a little poem to remind them how to um, how like the body works. And stuff. Okay, the board game has now completed, it's finished, so I need them just to explain how to play the game. So who wants to start? Okay, how do you play the game? You play the game <coughs> by rolling the dice, and yeah. then you put the counter on the number that you got. Okay, so let me, let me do it. Then yours would go here. So and so after that, you um since this is at the chest, you would do um describe what the chest is. There's some cards on the side. Okay, so you pick up a card yeah. that says chest, yeah. and and the chest would be the front surface of a person or an animal's um like in between their throat and their stomach. Okay, so basically what the card is doing is explaining what the chest is and, and where the chest is on the body. Yes. 
Yeah. Okay, and wonderful. At the bottom, we're gonna put read a few times so you get to know it in your head, and then if the question comes up like in your GCSEs and it's like you're like, I know that, and, and then write it down. Okay, so how do you think this will help a dyslexic child? Um, it'll make them remember it more, and especially with the poem, um, and like. And what they would help by it is with their body. So if they basically, if if they um if they get confused, which like and they forget what their body like their body parts, then they can like remember by playing a game with someone, maybe one of their normal friends or something. Like that. Okay, so basically, it's for children or dyslexic children to be to remember their words, how yes. to spell. And to also learn about their body parts. Yes. yes. That's really good. How did you guys find doing it? It was really fun. We got to work as a team and yeah, it was good. Okay, what about you? Huh? What about you? How was it for you? It was good, thank you. Okay. And what about you? I thought it was really good good, especially for me because I got dyslexia and it helped me out with my um, dyslexia. Good. Do you think it will help other children? Yeah, a lot. And do you think this is a game that you would play? Yes, I would definitely play it and I don't have the dyslexia, so it's a game for everyone. Wonderful. And the, and the song's good as well. Okay, thank you very much.